Hello Virgo and welcome to your money and career reading for October 2020. This is for the sun, moon and rising sign of Virgo. It is of course a collective reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You guys know the drill by now. Be sure to check your other signs for any additional messages that may be coming through for you. If you guys like my content, please like, share, hit that subscribe button, guys. I really appreciate it. We're growing nicely and I cannot thank you enough for all of your support. Whoopsies. If you are new to my channel, hi, how are you? It's good to meet you. And if you're returning, hello, welcome back. It is so great to see you again. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can, of course, do so on the website. I will put in the description box below, as always. And be sure to check my social media. It'll be linked there as well. All right. Okay. First of all, right off the hop, I would like to thank you all for being very patient. I realize this is a few days late. Um, however, had a slight medical emergency. It's all under control. But I do want to thank you very, very much for your patience in me getting this out. It is very much appreciated. Thank you so, so much. Um, I apologize for the ugly bruise. Nothing we can do about it. But um, please go ahead and ignore that. And let's get right in to our money and career reading, Virgo. Curious to see what comes up. The messages have been quite deep for this month. So let's see. Virgo, money and career for October 2020. Virgo, money and career, October 2020. Virgo, money and career, October 2020. All right. Nine of swords stuck in your head. Knight of cups, knight of wands. Ten of pentacles. All right. You guys, there's change trying to come in for you. Okay. Um, and like... This change, this, I mean, it's trying to bring you money, okay? The Ten of Pentacles. It's trying to bring you cash, all right? We have two knights trying in different ways to come in to get your attention, but you are so stuck in your own head that you are not seeing what's right in front of your face, okay? So be sure that you're getting out of your head. Try and find ways to get out of there. Maybe try creative outlets, all right? Um, spending time with um, friends or family, you know, um, as best you can with the social distancing still in effect. But, um, you know, get out of your head. Talk, okay? Communicate. Um, who knows what that will spark for you, Okay. But you all are all just like stuck in this loop in your head. Mm -hmm. Times are changing, right? We have the Six of Swords moving into smoother waters with the Ace of Swords. It's like you get clarity here. Okay? This is a month for clarity. But you're not going to get that clarity again unless you get out of that loop in your own head. Okay? You're going to have to set boundaries with yourself. Be careful about going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Again, that's your loop. All right? Stuck in that head. Keep going back and forth. Analysis paralysis. You're not making any decisions. You're just caught up in that cycle, in that head. It's like you go one way, but then it's like, oh, but what about this? And oh, I could do, well, what about this? Right? You're not getting any sort of clarity. You want to cut that pendulum. You want to keep it right in the center here with that Ace of Swords. Okay? This is a month for clarity and cutting through your own shit and cutting through your own mat, uh, mental loops. Okay? Yeah. We got to cut that out. All right? And... You're going to be successful with it, okay? You just, 
you have to give yourself, not permission, that's not the word I'm looking for. You have to, um, yeah, you just got to set that boundary for yourself. You got to cut your own bullshit. Okay. I'm hearing deconstruct, right? You got to deconstruct your mental loop. You got to, you got to interrupt that pattern. So if you're stuck like this, think of that um, ace of swords coming straight through and pinning it down and just cutting it through, right? Pinning it down. That's going to end that cycle for you. All right. You're going to cut it down again with the scythe here. You're cutting it down. You're going to get yourself some clarity. You're going to interrupt your patterns. Okay. That's going to get you out of this, um, this like, not what was me, but like that, that like, you're always tripping yourself up, right? And you're always like, careful where you step. And you know, like you're just, you need to, you know what, I'm hearing this, the, the, the phrase break some eggs, you know, to make an omelet, you got to break some eggs, all right? You got to interrupt some patterns. If you want, if you want growth, if you want to move forward, you got to change the way it's always been. Okay. Because there's money trying to come in. There's new opportunities. You have two nights trying to bring it in, but it's like you're too stuck right? You're too busy doing this to stop and see what's coming in and to allow it to come in. If you're like this, it can't come in. So it's blocking, always blocking, always blocking, okay? Be careful, Virgo. Yeah, we need to take some control, all right? Find your passion. Allow yourself to have that fun, all right? You are more charismatic than you think. Excuse my dogs if you can hear them. I believe they see a cat outside. Okay. Again, you are more charismatic than you think. Don't be afraid to shine that light. Again, we're interrupting patterns, right? That's where this new beginning comes in. That's where this new exciting opportunity pops in. We get that clarity. All right. Then you can... Take control, right? With the emperor and the king of pentacles, you're able to take charge of what you want and you're able to bring that in. You got to set boundaries, Virgo. And a lot of you, it's setting boundaries with yourself and others. But a lot of this is setting boundaries with yourself, interrupting your own patterns, getting your clarity, right? Getting out of that mental loop. Cutting down the old way of doing things. And then, again, money, clarity, success, right? You're not going to be hiding your talents anymore. Stop making yourself so goddamn small. All right? Let that light shine. Okay? Who the fuck cares what other people think, Virgo? Okay? There is being too careful. Okay? Shake up your life a little bit. Shake up your life a little bit. Let's see what the Halloween Oracle message is for us for this month. Oh, there we go, Virgo. Oops. Yeah, wise seeing, wise action with the owl. You are all seeing. You know lots. You don't, you see a lot without saying a lot. All right? Now, a lot of times that is um, tied to other people. And you can see other people's patterns very clearly. It's time you turn that on yourself. Okay? You are wise. You know how to do this. All right? You're just being a bit stubborn. Emperor energy, right? Stubborn. Mm, I don't want to change that up. Right? Gotta get... I, I don't want to interrupt my patterns. This has been working for me so far, except it really hasn't, has it? Right? 
So, you are wise. You are all-knowing. Allow yourself to use that to your advantage. Okay? Get that clarity. You got this, Virgo. If you do this, you are going to fucking soar for the rest of the year. Okay? This is going to just take right off for you. Why hold yourself back? Okay? Deconstruct. Deconstruct. That's coming in again. Deconstruct your patterns. Deconstruct your cycles. Okay? Very, very powerful, Virgo. You got this. All right. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know how it goes in the comments. I'm dying to hear. Very cool reading for you this month. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!